I am an AI influencer. I am an AI influencer. And if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel but don't want to show your face, here is why having an AI avatar might be the best decision you can make. With an AI avatar, you don't need a camera, lights, or makeup. No filming or re recording. Just write your script, upload it, and your avatar does the rest. Super fast, super easy. Your avatar never gets tired. Once your setup is ready, you can make lots of videos fast, and your avatar becomes your online identity. And you can build a unique brand from it. People start to recognize it like a logo with a face. That helps your channel grow. A one-time avatar design can be reused forever. No need for photos or reshoot to keep your brand fresh. Just like the Zen Studio, who has built a channel to almost 150,000 subscribers with her AI avatar. She even runs a community with almost 300 members. And here is Quita Lashan, who has built her channel with almost 30,000 subscribers with her AI avatar. She also runs a community with over 3,000 members. This is not a sponsor video or a promotion to any of these creators but I'm just showing you the possibilities that AI is bringing to the table and what you can do with your AI avatar so if you want to create videos but don't want to be on camera try an AI avatar it might just change everything for you now here is exactly how I built my AI avatar and the tools that I use personally there are only two AI tools that I used to create my AI avatar the reason behind that is because I use my original voice not an AI generated voice if I used an AI voice I would need a third AI too but with only two AI tools you can be able to kickstart your journey with your AI avatar the first two that I used to create my AI avatar and I still use up to now is open up AI here the first step is designing your character I will walk you through exactly how you can do it in multiple ways once we are here we click on these three dots to design our character here we need to select characters now there are two types of AI avatars the first ones are animated 3d avatars and the second ones are realistic avatars so depending with which one you want to go for the method we're going to use can be applied to either of the two now here there are three methods we can create our AI avatar we can start with a four images this works pretty well if you want to create a realistic avatar same applies with a start with one image or you can start with a description now, if you start with four plus images, all you have to do is give a name to your avatar. Once a name is given, you need to upload at least four images. You can upload even up to 10 images if you'd like. If you want to use your face as an avatar, you can simply upload a good number of images showing your face. Once that is done, just click create character and your avatar will be created. In the same manner, we can create an avatar using only one image. This is the method that I used creating the avatar avatar that you are seeing. All you have to do is click start with one image, give a name to your avatar. I gave it my name, Jimmy. From there, here I uploaded the logo image of my YouTube channel. If you want to create something similar to you, I recommend that you use your own images. Once my logo image was uploaded, the only thing I did was to create on the create character button. And here is our character written diary. If you want your character to be a 3D animated character, what you can simply do is start with a description it's as simple as this all you have to do is write down your name once you're done with the name first in the details that fully describes your character this can include the physical features like the hairstyle the skin tone and specific accessories or type of dressing you would love your character to have once that is done all you have to do is select a style on your right in the photorealistic anime 3d pixel style you have all these options once you select your style just hit create from the previous viewed characters you can select one that will be your character finally all you have to do is click create character and your character will be generated once my character is generated i can create a number of images of my character in different locations in different outfit and doing different activities using the same platform this is one advantage that open up ai has now to create images of our character in a youtube studio setup or any background of our choice what we simply have to do is scroll up and click on these 
these uh, three dots. From here, we click on create or generate images. Here, what I simply have to do is choose a model or a character. So we'll select our character, the one we just generated. So click this button that says switch and come to my characters and scroll down until we find our character or our avatar we selected. And we'll see the name written down here. Now here, what we simply have to do is describe what our character is doing and the background of our character. For example, we can say our character is seated facing straight into the camera in a YouTube studio setup with a yellow background. From here, all I have to do is scroll down and select the aspect ratio. Since I'll be using this avatar to create long form YouTube content, I'll select the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9, which is the scene. from there, all I have to do is click create. You do not have to stop on one image that it generates. You can keep on changing the prompt and tweaking it to your preference until it generates a satisfying avatar or character that you can use for your brand. I really love how this one looks. It looks very realistic except on the fingers which I have to regenerate until I get that best quality image that I'll animate and turn into my personal avatar. I really love how the setup is except there is poor lighting. Once you generate an image image that you really like and there are only a few details that you would love to change what you can simply do is close this tab and come to chart here on your left and here what you simply have to do is number one make sure that flux context is selected and here you can upload an image you would love to edit or change some few details select this button and click history and upload the image of your avatar like that now if you would love to add a few elements like a microphone or some book element or you would love to change the clothing of your character, you can simply do that here. For example, let's say we would love our character to wear a black t-shirt. We can simply type in saying change the character's shirt or sweater to a black t-shirt. Hit enter and all the details will remain the same except the shirt of our character is the one which will be changed. We can also tell the AI to say we would love our character to have a mic on the table somewhere here. We can simply say add a microphone and you have your mic set like that but i'll just leave it like this without a microphone you can keep on tweaking and editing your character changing the background and everything that's if you want to using this same platform but leave it just like the way it is that's the same process i created my character like that so if i want to change it i can simply change it as you can see the character is still me i guess yeah still me same hairstyle same beards same everything <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you have reached this far, consider subscribing to our channel because more value awaits you. If you want to download this image, you can just simply click on the download button and you can download it as a PNG or a JPEG file. Once you and I are done generating or designing our avatar, setting up our avatar's YouTube studio, it's time to animate our avatar. Now, to animate our avatar, we're going to use uh, this um, AI to open up AI. All you have to do is click on a video here and here, Number one, we need to make sure that image is selected. From there, we need to upload our image. Once the video is uploaded, here we need to describe exactly what our character is doing. For the first scene, we want our character to be seated exactly where they are and to be talking with a warm expression on their face and with hand gestures. So what I simply do is type in exactly those lines or exactly what I want to see my character do. Like this simple prompt that says the character is talking with with simple hand gestures and with a warm light facial expression. Once that is set, all I have to do is select the duration to be 10 seconds and select the quality mode to be master. After that, I add some negative prompts to make sure that we do not have those weird hand movement, a distorted mouth movement. And once I'm done adding all those negative prompts, the only thing I do is hit create and my character will be animated and talking without a sound. Okay, so once our character is animated with a warm facial expression and hand gestures, all we have to do is download this video into our PC and go to the next step which is lip syncing our video. There are many AI lip syncing tools that you can use out there but the one that I always use is Dreamfest AI. Just head over to Dreamfest and here all you have to do is click on try avatar video. If you do not see this message pop up you can simply come to AI tools and click on video lip sync. From there click on generate avatar video. 
here, start by clicking on the plus icon to upload your video file, the one that you've just animated in OpenArt AI of your AI avatar. Once the video file is uploaded, select it. And once the video file is selected, what you want to do is click on the audio file and upload the audio file that you just either recorded or generated with an AI too. So I'll just upload an audio file I previously recorded. Once the audio file is uploaded, all you have to do is click on generate. And once your avatar is generated, this is the way it will look. Hey, do me a quick favor, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. I would love to see you next time. And that's how easy you can create your avatar and start using it in your YouTube videos. I want to mention some other tools you might love. Number one is Heijin does a really good work when it comes to animate and lip syncing your video. The other one is Leonardo AI, which you can use to create your AI avatar, but it hardly generates consistent characters for you. If you want more videos like this, behind the scene tutorials, or even step-by-step -step walkthrough of how I animate and lip sync my characters move and walk around, let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. If you have any questions, drop them and I will be glad to respond to all of them. That's how I've created my avatar and that's how you can create your avatar as well. From here, may God richly bless you. Thank you.